the heck, this is gonna drop your jaw. So here is a study. This is a different one than the one I just talked about. This is 780 patients who were positive for the virus and they were uh, sent to ICU. If their vitamin D level was at 18 and a half, and that's NGs per ml, if their vitamin D level when tested was at 18 and a half and they were sent to this, um, uh, ICU, every one of them died. Every one of them, 100%. If their vitamin D level was just above 33, almost 34, none of them died. If their vitamin D level was at 27 and a half, 80% of them died. So, but look what happens at 31, only 20% of them died. And if it was at 33 and a half, none of them died. That's why we say you want your vitamin D level between 50 and 75. You want it robust and it's really easy. We'll post here a link to the vitamin D test. Sorry, it's really hot here today in Costa Rica. We'll post a link here to the vitamin D test on our website because it's a really simple finger prick. It's really easy to do, but Go to your doctor, get your vitamin D tested, get a blood draw done. And if you don't want the blood draw, then you can do a simple finger prick and everyone in the family should be tested for vitamin D. When you see numbers like this, this is jaw dropping.